Addison's disease is when the adrenal glands don't work as well as they should do. Here is what you need to know. One of the most common causes of Addison's disease is an autoimmune condition, which is where the body attacks itself. In this case, it attacks the outer layers of the adrenal glands, which is where the hormones cortisol and aldosterone are made. With less of these vital hormones, symptoms can develop such as tiredness, weakness, and loss of appetite. And in the extreme, one might experience vomiting, dehydration, and even go into shock. This is called an adrenal crisis and it's a medical emergency. In order to try and diagnose Addison's disease, a substance called synactin is given to try and wake the adrenal glands up. In healthy adrenal glands, this would cause the body to create more of the hormone, cortisol. But in Addison's disease, the adrenal glands don't respond and the cortisol levels remain low, which can be detected through blood tests. Treatment includes lifelong steroid therapy that acts as a replacement for the hormones that aren't being made. And with any illness, injury or operation, the steroid treatment should be increased. Make sure you're followed for the next video.